What is going on guys, Dalton here back with another episode of DC Collects. Today we're going over all my Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pops. Let's get collecting. Okay guys, so I do have a very good collection of Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pops from all three movies. The first one, Volume 2 and Volume 3. The Volume 3 collection is going to be complete as soon as a couple more pops come in. I'll be doing a full review on those, but let's dive into Guardians of the Galaxy number one to start. And starting off here guys, we do have the Collector. He is a really sick looking pop guys. And these original Guardians of the Galaxy Pops are from 2014, so definitely some OG pops for sure. I actually think too guys that this so Guardians of the Galaxy actually followed the Avengers movie so if you guys don't, don't already know the original Avengers pops are going crazy they continue to go up and I honestly think the Guardians OG pops are going to be next on that list so they will definitely be sought after in the future guys but really love the collector and I love how they put the orb in his hand so he does have the infinity stone there too so super sick next up guys we have the OG Star Lord so this is number 47 in the lineup that tells you how early on this one is and I just really love these old style pops guys definitely a lot of detail in his mask not as much in the body but those are just old school pops and I love the nostalgia of this guy moving along here guys I do have my three dancing Groots and we are accompanied by our 18 inch flocked Groot also dancing and he's limited to 1500 pieces so he's gonna be helping us out all throughout the video and he's gonna help us show off his buddies here so <laughs> These are, this is the Hot Topic exclusive dancing Groot, and he does have the blue pot, and it says, I am Groot on the pot, so super sick, guys. Definitely a really subtle change in all of these dancing Groots as they just change the pot, but I just think it makes for a super cool collection, and awesome. They look awesome displayed together. So there is the original white pot, guys. That is the same as the 18-inch pop, and then uh, we do have the Entertainment Earth exclusive. Probably my favorite one, guys, and this is the red pot with the Ravager logo. So really, really enjoy that set, guys. Love the dancing Groots. And weren't we all so happy when Groot was still alive at the end of the first movie? Okay, guys, so definitely a special pop to me, guys. This is the Ronin pop from the lineup. So this one's special to me, guys, because as many of you might know, I did just have a son. He's actually six weeks old already, which is just crazy to think. But yes, we did name him Ronin, spelt exactly like this, guys. So I did run out. This almost spurred me getting the original Guardians of the Galaxy pops because I started with this one and went from there. So this is fairly new to my collection, the original Guardians pops, but really loving them and I love I didn't know how old they but really love these old school pops guys they did a really good job on his hammer the weapon there and his makeup hood just everything sick looking pop guys really enjoy that one and last up for the original Guardians pops guys I do have the 2015 summer convention exclusive and this is rocket and potted Groot so this is literally right at the end of the movie when the Nova Corps is basically thanking the Guardians for saving the planet and essentially the galaxy but this was when you did finally see that Groot was still alive so definitely a super sick moment in the movie and I just love the detail in that pop Groot that has to be the smallest potted Groot that is in Funko's existence so pretty sick. Moving along to volume two guys we do have the 2018 spring convention exclusive Yondu so I really really love this pop guys super sick Yondu and a hilarious part in the movie at more towards the end where he's coming down and he's talking about looking like Mary Poppins so really sick and funny moment and that is just a dope pop loved his mohawk that scene was sick too so great pop overall love the fire on his arrow really can't say enough about that pop and then up next we are going to get into my group collection for volume two guys so they always do a bunch of variations of group which i really love and this is the common group guys so this one was a fine hunting one day so it was just a uh, kind of an older pop i think i found it in 2020 so it was three years old so it was still cool to find and i do like that pop next up guys a really sick one here this is the group marvel collector Corpse exclusive so definitely a super sick one 
one, guys. But I just had to have this one, guys, because he has the cassette awesome mix volume two. So just super epic. And I think for a lot of people, the fav their favorite part is the music, and that is much the same for me. And lastly, we do have the new WonderCon exclusive group, guys. So I really love this one because he does have the remote. You can see the batteries that he stole on the front. That rocket stole on the front, excuse me. But yeah, really cool pop and an absolutely hilarious moment in volume two. So again, really had to have that pop and I love that one. Next up here, guys, we do have Stan the Man. So this is Stan Lee from volume two. And he's only in this cameo for a very short period of time, but they actually pass by and he's chilling with a bunch of watchers. So definitely a cool scene and I love the helmet. I love how they did the helmet and the glasses on this one. That's like a double whammy for me. I love the helmets and I love when Funko does glasses. So really like this pop. And next up here, guys, we do have the Chase Star-Lord. So you can see the common on the side. He is unmasked. So I really, really like the Chase. I love the detail in his mask. And last up for volume two, guys, we do have Craglin. So this one's super sick, guys. This was a 2018 summer convention exclusive and that is after he has installed Yondu's mohawk piece so very very sick really really enjoy that pop guys and I really like Craglin I can't wait to see him in the new movie because I haven't seen it yet okay and last but certainly but certainly not least we do have the volume 3 Funko Pops guys here we go getting right into it here I do have the international sticker but this is a box lunch exclusive and this is Rocket in it basically his civvy clothes I'm gonna call them but I definitely like this this one guys like I said I just wanted to get all the pops in this lineup so we got the exclusive rocket here as well and just arriving today guys we do have the flocked baby rocket guys so this one is definitely really really cute guys get a good look at that one definitely a small pop guys but just absolutely adorable and these pops are killing me because I haven't seen the movie yet so I really can't wait to and I'm really trying not to spoil it for myself so that's been tough as well probably one of my favorite pops of the set right here though guys just super sick next up we do have the Funko Shop exclusive group guys so this one's definitely sick he looks like he has wings in this one like I said I haven't seen the movie yet so I'm assuming they're wings but we will have to find out but definitely a really cool pop guys and I was lucky to get a Funko Shop exclusive at Toys R Us so definitely super sick pop that we don't normally get here in Canada Funko Shop exclusives anyway and next up guys we do have the common Craglin so this one is super sick guys I love all the detail they put in this one I actually do like the volume 2 one a lot better uh, if you do look really closely in my opinion they just did a lot better job on his arrow so you can see on the volume 2 one it's just a little bit more I would say scaled to his body whereas the one for volume 3 is super I would just it just looks massive it almost doesn't look like his arrow but that's just getting a little nitpicky because the figure is really amazing and really detailed and I'm still really happy to have that one in my collection and I think everyone was waiting to see this guy on the big screen for a long time guys this is Adam Warlock so I think they did a great job on the pop guys again I haven't seen them on the big screen yet but definitely a lot of detail on this pop and it is looking a lot like the actor who played him so really really enjoying that one guys and another great addition to the set and another newer piece to the collection here guys so we do have the six pack Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 of all of the Guardians of the Galaxy to date now guys so Nebula is in this one which is super cool but I just love how they have all their uniforms on guys and definitely the coolest part about this six pack is the exclusive Groot that only comes in the six pack so he's a really really sick pop guys actually has eight arms coming out of him with eight guns on him it's from the scene in the commercials which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with and yeah just really love that pop guys can't say enough about it these are all super super sick pops I do have a short out showing these off or you can go check out my latest video I had to buy six Funko Pops to get one and that's me basically opening this off and showing off all the characters so you definitely don't want to miss that one take them all out of box and get a good look at them so those are all of my MCU Guardians of the Galaxy pops guys but I thought we would end the video just showing you these ones but I did get these at Toronto Comic Con this year and I really 
really wanted to show them to you guys. So this is basically the comic book versions of Rocket Raccoon and Star-Lord. And Rocket is limited to 25,000 pieces and Star-Lord is limited to 20,000 pieces. And Star-Lord was a Comic Fest exclusive. Both PX previews is exclusives, but just super sick pops, guys. And definitely higher piece counts, but I really like that they're limited. And definitely a really epic addition to my Guardians of the Galaxy lineup. So really, really stoked about my entire collection, guys. To be honest, I didn't notice how many that I had. So this was a super fun video to make. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.